are new ministers who have just been ordained elders, pastors, deacons, deaconesses, and evangelists with a mandate to join forces with other ministers in the vineyard of God for the edification of the church. The general overseer of El Shaddai Deliverance Church, Apostle Paul Onoiga, challenges them to see their ordination as a lifetime appointment that can only be corrupted by sin. We have told the ordinees that it's not just an exercise, it is a commitment for dedication, it's a commitment for a new bottle into a new wine. Everybody must turn anew because you have got into a stage, you have taken something that has great spiritual significance. So we expect them, apart from the way they were behaving, to know that this is a moment uh, for spiritual reflection, a moment of commitment and dedication, a moment that should be remembered for the rest of their lives. His message to the congregation and by extension to Nigerians is to live in accordance with God's standards and expectations. The power resides not in the church, but in the Lord. And nobody will be in the law until he or she forsakes sin. You can't be in the law, you can only be in the church. So the main issue today is, what does it take for the mighty and the of hope to operate in our time, in Nigeria and all over the world? It's for us to go back to God. And that is confessing and forsaking our sin. If we are saying accept Jesus, Lord and Savior, what did Jesus say? Jesus said we should confess and forsake our sin. And if that is acceptable to you, you accept it and that means you are living the way Jesus advises or in the Bible to, to follow. To the newly ordained, it is a call to more responsibility in the household of God. I see it as a kind of commission to go and break the yokes. And I believe God to help me in bringing about a transformation in my life that will be sufficient to carry out this task. It means... A lot of obligations have been deposited in the fine yards of the Lord to work for him, to be first in his fine yard, so win souls for Christ. Prayers were offered for God's intervention in the affairs of the nation. In Abeokuta, Lekon Agmonde, NC News.